Kirby clips it forward and helped on, and England standing it behind. Couldn't get on the end of it. England worked that one well, though. Chloe Kelly on those wings are dangerous. Oh, hip! Brilliant closing down, and it almost paid off for her. Well, said she's been quiet so far, came to life there and made life difficult for Van Veenendaal. Brilliant pressure from England, Lauren Hemp especially, charging everything down. Just couldn't quite get it within the width of the frame of the goal. Martins. Roared. Martins. To Mills. And Roared with a little bit of room, gets the shot. Bernstein trying to get in behind. Can she set herself? She can, and Ops is there. Well, Annette Bernstein denied by the England goalkeeper. Strong save from Mary Earps. Lots of bodies in there, makes it so difficult to see. Holds her ground, stays big, enables her to make that save with her trading leg. And de Gruck, one of the main dangers. Here's the corner from Spitzer. Helped on and helped in. And it had to be Lika Martins. One of the Dutch's star players. But they all surround Spitzer on her 200th appearance for a country. They enjoyed that goal, the Netherlands, and in front, and their threat from set pieces playing out. A brilliant delivery from Spitzer on her 200th cap, and an even better header from Lika Martins. She's not necessarily someone that you'd expect to be getting on the end of them. But it's a brilliant header and leaves Mary Ertz with absolutely no chance. Frustrating for England because it was an unnecessary corner to give away. But this is the test that England need. Just needed the forward to get across that near post. Martins plays it through. Bernstein has got the legs to get away. It's a very good cover for Rachel Daly. And had to. Brilliant cover from Rachel Daly. You look how much ground she's got to make up. Bernstein's incredibly quick, and Rachel Daly does so well to get goal side and get the contact. Well, this is a very good position indeed for Alex Greenwood or Frank Kirby. Fancy it will be Greenwood though, and that left foot of hers. And tries to pass it into the corner. That's red all the way by Sari van Veenendaal. Comfortable for van Veenendaal in the end, tidy with her hands as well. You saw two England players there ready to pounce on any kind of rebound. Now this is going to break to Kirby. Good position this for England. Kirby. She caught there. Still coming forward with bronze. Plenty in the penalty area as well. Bronze clips it right in. Completely misread by van Veenendaal. But Lucy Bronze won't mind at all at England level. And I don't think she meant it from that expression. But either way, England have got themselves back on level terms. Lucy Bronze. Whether she meant it or not, she'll take it. Great play again, Frank Kirby in the middle. But this is where we want to see Lucy Bronze driving forward, clipping that ball in, absolutely evaded Van Wiedenau. Evaded everybody else as well, and into that back post. Yeah, Lucy Bronze on her 90th cap, her 10th goal for England. And in the sort of areas where she can cause damage to the opposition. Certainly looking to cross that. Something of the Ronaldinho about that one. Daly. Here's him. England on the front foot at the start of the second half. And Hemp was looking to bend that to the far post. And it dropped to Mead. Nothing in the end. Great driving play from Lauren Hemp here. Into the 18-yard box. Can cut on, on either foot. I don't think Beth Mead was too aware of that ball coming through. It hit her really late. Extra. It's a searching ball and a good break from van der Donk. Bernstein getting up in support. Now that's a challenge from Greenwood. Dean clean by the referee. But did she get much of the ball? 
they are checking. The VAR is Fabio Verissimo. Penalty to the Dutch. And there's going to be a booking as well for Greenwood. I think you could tell from Alex Greenwood's reaction then. There wasn't any frustration or annoyance in the, in the penalty being given. I think she knew she'd made contact. Sometimes VAR goes for you, sometimes it goes against you. It's Spencer! She can't take the chance! Well, Mary Ops enjoys the part she played in that, but it's not to be for the Dutch captain. Mary Ops definitely did her research. She knew which way Spitzer was going. She didn't get the touch, but she did enough to force her wide. The composure that Spitzer normally has, the quality she has on her set pieces, would have backed her to score from there. Daly, it's England with a reprieve. And here's Hemp. And Hemp plays it in, and Mina Ravi has a brilliant ball in. A taken by the substitute. A sweeping move from England. And what a response. Conceding the penalty, getting the reprieve. Mary Ups knows that. It's England who take the lead. A brilliant response and a brilliant counter-attack down this left-hand side. One and two touch combination play. Lauren Hemp leaves Vilms for dead there. Fantastic delivery. And Beth Mead fires that into the bottom corner. Gives Van Viedner absolutely no chance. Hemp. Two. Still tuned, lovely check of the feet, looking for the corner, finds it! Another substitute making an impact in this game, and England stretch their lead. I don't know how much the Dutch goalkeeper from Vaynen now saw of that, but England in a confident mood in this second half. Confident from England, confident from Ella Toon. She's only just come onto the pitch. We know exactly what she can do. You can ask questions of the goalkeeper. She's misjudged the bounce. She should definitely do better from there. But if you don't shoot, you don't score. And Ella Toon's got herself on the score sheet yet again. Meads, bronze. Brilliant play from England here. Toon took it off the post. Almost getting the luck. Russo might get the luck, though. Hemp! That is glorious from Lauren Hemp. Showcasing her quality again. And England have taken the game away from the Dutch in this second half with class. It's brilliant from Hemp. Toon gets her shot away, rebounds off the post. But Lauren Hemp makes this technique look absolutely easy. And I can tell you it's not. Fantastic finish, composed into that far corner. Giving England a fantastic lead in this game. Well, it took ages, well, relatively ages, we felt like, for Lauren Hemp to score her first England goal. She hasn't really stopped scoring since then. He was really impressed. When they need to come on and perform. Walsh, lovely ball in. Tune. They're going to have a fifth here. Miss Q, but it's still alive. Mead sets us out, scores. It's five for England. What a second half display. Another for Beth Mead. And they have blown the Dutch away in the second period. A night to enjoy for those in attendance at Ellen Road. And an enjoyable night for England at Ellen Road. Just committing so many bodies forward, England. So positive. Beth Mead's not going to miss from there. A brilliant finish past Van Vienenaar. And she's been an absolute breath of fresh air in this second half. She's been brilliant driving forwards and absolutely deserved that goal.